Meanwhile, the F word is in the news. No, uh, you know, moms and dads driving with 10-year-olds in the back seat. You don't have to cover your ear, the ears of your, of your young'uns. Uh, I'm talking about the filibuster word. The filibuster, uh, a filibuster technically is when the minority thwarts the will of the majority from moving along. You know, whether it's ending debate or whether it's having a vote or whatever it may be in the Senate, it is possible for now it's 40 votes. At one point it was, it was 33 votes. At, in the beginning it was just 50-50. I mean, the Constitution basically says, you know, a majority of, in, the, in each house shall determine what the law is. Or a law comes into being when a majority passes it. No, don't have the clip. That's okay. Um, and and so, you know, there, Mitch McConnell said to Harry Reid at the beginning of the year, "Don't take away our filibuster power. I know we've abused it terribly for the last four years, but we won't do that anymore. We're going to be nice now." And Harry Reid said, "Oh, you're going to be nice. Oh, well, okay." I'll go along with you, as long as you're nice. You, will you shake my hand on it? Mitch McConnell, oh, sure, Harry, I'll shake your hand on it. And so Harry comes out and announces that he and Mitch McConnell have this handshake deal. And the Republicans are only going to filibuster things that they really, really think are, like, you know, the nation could end kind of stuff. You know, really important issues. So they just filibuster Chuck Hagel's nomination. All the way back to the George Washington administration, the Senate is given the power of what's called advice and consent. It's an article, it's an article one of the Constitution. And where it lays out the powers of the Senate. I think it's Article One, Section Two. And or it's it's Article One, whatever section it is. And and in that power of advice and consent, basically well, how that's been construed is uh, interpreted to mean is that cabinet level officers and and arguably ambassadors are subject to the Senate saying, yeah, we, we approve of that guy. Not the House, just the Senate. And arguably, constitutionally, that would be a majority vote, 50, 50% vote. But instead, you know, now we've got this, these, these Senate rules that allow 40 votes to block things from moving ahead. And sure enough, last night, Harry Reid called a vote and 40 Republicans voted to block ending debate on Chuck Hagel, which is going to block it for a week. This is nothing more than the Republicans just shoving their thumb in Obama's eye. I mean, it's just that simple. In fact, they've come out and said, you know, we'll have a vote in a week and, you know, he'll be nominated. So it's a, it's a week-long filibuster. And it's just for the purposes of, 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 say, of the try, you know, this is their way of, of saying, uh, we're in charge here. Yeah, <laughs> we represent like 20% of the American public. I mean, you got, you've got, you know, the, the arguably Republican senators representing less than 15% of the American population can, can shut down legislation. Because, I mean, every state has two senators. And a lot of these small states like Wyoming and Oklahoma, you know, very few people, a couple hundred thousand people, have two senators. But the net net of it is that the, uh, the F word, the, the filibuster word, the Republicans are denying that this is a filibuster. No, it's not. A, we're not filibuster. We just want more information. Therefore, we're casting 40 votes to stop the process. That's not a filibuster. Oh, really? What is? Well, you know, if you stop the process, that's a filibuster. But we're not just stopping the process. We're just temporarily stopping the process. Oh, it's a temporary filibuster. No, it's not a temporary filibuster. We, you can't use that word. See, the problem, the reason why, you know, the, 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 the gates of hell didn't open when Harry Reid cut this deal with Mitch McConnell or when he started, you know, inclining toward it, or Carl Levin started talking about, you know, it's not such a good idea to do a filibuster, was because most Americans didn't hear the F word over, at, you know, 300 times during the first, first four years of the Obama presidency. And they should have. So at least the F word is being used.